Do you need help figuring out how to use the writing fonts in Cricut Design Space? Well, stay tuned because we have a Cricut 101 video coming up. Hey everybody, Nick here from TheBeardedHousewife.com, the blog and YouTube channel that shows you simple ways to craft your house into a home. Today we're going to be having a quick Cricut 101 lesson on using writing fonts within Cricut Design Space. As you probably know, I love to use the Cricut pens with my cutting machine. I think it's so fun and such a blessing that your cutting machine can draw and write for you. I have terrible handwriting and it's such a lifesaver. Well, I have had several people who read my blog ask me to do a tutorial on how exactly to use writing fonts in Design Space and avoid that dreaded bubble effect with text. So that's what we're going to go over today. As you can see, I have a new project open. This is my happy birthday insert card. If you'd like to check out the video for this project, I'll link the video at the top of the screen. So. To not only add your sentiment, but to have your machine write it out, we need to add a layer. Otherwise, if we attach text to the card, it's going to draw on the back portion of the card, right? Because this is the front and this is the back. So, first things first, we need to head over to the Shapes tool. I'm using my desktop, so all of the tools that I'm going to be using are here on the left. If you're using the mobile um, apps, it should be on the bottom of the screen. Next, you're going to want to select square. To get the sizing right, you're going to want to move the shape over to where you want it, and then unlock it. Then up here in the sizing portion, you're going to want to change the width. Now for this card, I'm going to change it to 5.25 inches wide. by four inches high. Depending on the card size you want to use, this may be a little bit different for you. Now that we have our new card layer created, I'm gonna bring this over here so I can work on it. And I'm gonna change the color to white because I want this to cut out and write at the same time as this outer card layer. Now you could change the, co the color, it's totally up to you. This is not a requirement as far as leaving this white. Um, if you want to do a different color for the inside of the card, that's totally up to you. Now, click the text tool here, and you'll see that it shows up in the, um, the bottom, the box shows up at the bottom. But when you start typing, it's gonna show up probably in the middle of your canvas. So I'm gonna type something out really quick. Okay, so obviously we need to resize this. So I'm gonna change the font size to, eh, let's try 16. Bring that over on top of our new card layer that we made. Now we need to select a writing font. So here in the font selection, you're gonna to wanna to click the drop down menu, head over to the filter, click on filter, and then highlight writing. That will show us all of the Cricut fonts that we have available that are writing style fonts. So I'm gonna pick one really quick. And then you'll probably need to resize it because the cut file is different than the uh, writing font. All right, so there you go. You can see that it will write by taking a look at the uh, layers panel. It has changed it to the pen instead of the basic cut. That's how you know that this, um, that this portion will be written instead of cut. So you would want to then highlight both of these layers. And then I'm going to align it to the center so that it aligns it vertically and horizontally centered. There we go. And now that I have both of them highlighted again, or still rather, I'm gonna come down and click attach to make sure that it stays exactly where we want it. Now you can head up to make it.
and you'll see both of those layers. Now I want to go back and show you another way to make sure that you're using writing fonts. This will help prevent that bubble effect. So I'm going to change this text back to Cricket Sands. Give me just a second to do that. Okay, so let's say that I have just added the text and I didn't go to change the filters here in the font selections. I just wanted to change the uh, operation type and go from there. I'll show, I'll show you what I mean. So in previous tutorials of mine, I have told people to change this to a draw. So you would click the text, come over here to operation, and then change it in the draw selection to pen. Now you see that it has changed it to pen, so this will write out with your Cricut. However, you see that we have the bubble letters here, and that's not what we want. What you need to do then, if you do see this, is come over to the style option on the font panels, or on, in the text panel, and click writing. See how it changes it? It's still the same font, it's just the thinner or single stroke um, line instead of the bubble letters. That's, that will help prevent the bubble effect that people are getting. Now, there are a few things. Um, not all fonts can or have the writing option built into Design Space. If you change a font to the draw or the pen function, you may still end up with the bubble effect. Certain fonts just do that. That's just how they're designed. If you aren't wanting that kind of effect, I would suggest you look for a single line font here in the font options menu by doing the filter and the writing so that you filter out all of the writing ones here. Or you can use um, defont.com or fontbundles.net. Uh, those are both great resources for fonts. You just need to make sure, especially if you're going to use these for commercial purposes, that you're allowed to do so. So do keep in mind that as you're looking for fonts. If you need help with um, importing fonts into Design Space, I will add a link to a blog post that I created that shows you how to do that, and I'll put that in the video description. Well, I hope that this was helpful. I'm sure most of you knew how to do this already, but maybe it was a quick refresher for you. If you like this kind of format and want me to do more quick Cricut tips like this, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to do some for you. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and head over to my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com, for lots of other card tutorials and cr Cricut graphs. But for now, I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife, and I will see everybody soon. Bye bye